I blame them. I'm just kidding. Whatever. Don't say that because they're all going to come after you. No. <laughs> We're, no. Once is our diehard fans and they'll come after you. So take back what you just said. <laughs> I was just kidding. Hi everyone and welcome back. Simply Rye here and I am with my partner again. Scott. And this time we're not going to be doing a movie review. However, we're going to do a twice concert review. Twice. Um, and just how our experience was, that we got the VIP, um, and just give y'all the whole inside scoop of what we thought of the concert, um, how it was, just overall, and just our opinions. Um, I am a fellow once. Uh, I guess I kind of got him into becoming a once as well. But before we go into the review, if you are new to my channel, I am Simply Rye, or you can just simply call me Rye. <laughs> um, and my channel, I basically do movie reviews, um, collection reviews, gameplay. I also do some live streams, so be sure to tune into my channel for that if you have not yet please hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell notification on my channel to stay in tuned for any future uploads and future content. I do do some giveaways, which I will be doing a giveaway at the end of this as well. Um, so stay tuned to the end to fi figure out how you can enter my giveaway. Um, but let's go ahead and get into the review of the Twice concert. We went to the Houston Day One Twice concert, and let me tell you, was it hot? <laughs> um, we had VIP, so of course we had to be there early. Um, we drove about three hours, a little bit over three hours, because there was traffic there. Um, I know a lot of people traveled longer than us, but we traveled three hours to get there. VIP check-in was started at 12, um, and they wanted us to be in line and in there by 3? 3.30? I think 3.30 was the, the doors opening for VIP to get merch. Um, and then uh, 5 o'clock was sound check, which they would let us in and do the sound check with the girls. Um, but I will let Scott take over and do the first part of our experience. Well, sure. I'd say of the two of us, uh, Ryan is a huge fan of K-pop and lover of music. Uh, I'll say that music has been a huge part of my life, even since I was three years old. I've always been singing and performing, and, and I even have two degrees in music. But I will say that this was my first live concert to go to in in this sense, like a, a major performing group. I, I've listened to some live bands outside and things of that sort, but this was a huge concert. So this was my first uh, opportunity to do that. Um, but to backtrack a little bit, I do want to show you what we got for B being uh, VIP ticket holders really quick. Um, we did get the twice, there we go, got the twice, uh, fifth World Tour Ready to Be Luggage. Um, what is it? Uh, like a luggage name thing. Name so, tag. like a name tag. So, you can put it on your luggage. We got a sweat towel because we're sweating our butt off. It says twice Fifth World Tour Ready to Be. However, I didn't use it because. I'm just gonna keep it in my collection. <laughs> then we got a passport holder, twice Fifth World Tour. I'm assuming it's a passport holder, because it's big. Um, and then we got some like little pins, twice ready to be. Um, and then of course, on top of that, we got the lanyards, so take it off. You have the, the girls on the front. I uh, don't really think you can see, because there we go, there's a little bit better. Girls on the front and then on the back, fifth world tour ready to be. A pin that I had made a long time ago, a girl, a long time ago of the Twice members and then I had 
the twice lanyard, which I was wearing, but I ended up taking it off because my neck was hurting. Um, but that was what we got. Um, and I was giving away the twice pins to a lot of the, the onces out there. My whole thing was I wanted to give one to the members, but I wasn't high hopes in that. <laughs> um, but at the end, well, I'll tell you my review and what happened, life changing for me. Um, but yes, um, other than that, we made our way in to the stadium, got the merch. I got three shirts and two hoodies. And I also got the bag, and that was it, right? Um, and then we stood in line. Uh, we were floor, we're on the floor, row four, seats one and two, so we were right by the barricade. Um, we stood in line inside for about an hour, mm -hmm. um, maybe a little bit over. Um, we were supposed to be guided in for sound check at five, but we didn't get in till like five fifteen. Um, I'm not too sure what was going on, but they didn't let us in until then. Sound check probably was 5.30 to 6. They did three songs, I think, three, four songs. Um, and then they went back to get ready for the show. But after a while, the concert started at 7.30, a little bit after 7.30, which I expected because no concerts start on time. Although they should. <laughs> Um, but it, they did start pretty on time, um, and they played a lot of their songs. Um, it was really great. Um, they started off with, what song did they start off with? Do you remember? So they started off with Set Me Free, and they sang it in English, um, which I was surprised about. Um, uh, I did have the opportunity to go to their fourth world tour last year with some of my friends um, and I had a great time then um, but I must say that this time I had and, and I think it's my overall experience and I think it was because of the experience that I've had and I'll go into it at the end of this but oh my gosh this is I think this was my it surpassed last concert um that i saw with twice but they started off with set me free and they did quite a bit of their songs um i personally love i can't stop me hence the pin that i made in their i can't stop me outfits um they did that i think it was their second performance or third performance um and then did oh they did your song that you like when we were kids. Oh, when we they were did. kids. That was yeah. towards the end though. I like that song, yes. Um, they did something that they never done before, which was they did solo acts. Um, and they did covers. Uh, a few of the girls did covers and then a few of the girls did their own song. Um, we got a taste of ji uh new song. Off her Yes, off of her upcoming album album she said right so it seemed like there's gonna be more than just one or two songs so maybe like nyan that they'll have maybe like five six songs of hers so i'm excited about that um you know how i am with slower songs so i like slower songs <laughs> he likes slower songs i'm more of a upbeat person well, i like both but um yes but for me i like more of the upbeat stuff um i like the stuff where you feel things I do too, but I do agree. I do like G Jiho's Nightmare Song. Um, Nyan, of course, was the last solo, and of course, she ended it with pop. Um, Dion did the piano uh, and sang. Cheong did the guitar and sang. Um, Jeong did Juice, Juice by Lizzo. She did really good. She was, I was having very fun. Happy. I was happy with that one. <laughs> Wearing that pink. Yes, yeah. she was having fun. And she had a beanie on, it was great. Mm-hmm. Um, Sana did a cover, I believe. Um, she did good. I don't remember what cover it was. Was it Charlie Puth? Was hers Charlie Puth? I don't remember, but somebody did a Charlie Puth song, um, which I'll be posting some clips throughout this video, so you can see that. 
but you'll see how close we were. Um, and then of course we had Momo. Momo was the only one who did not sing. She did a dance, um, little break for her solo. Um, Mina, she did her solo, it was cute. Who was on the pole? Someone was on the pole. I'm just like trying to remember everything because it was so, it, Which it was so surreal. Is Mina the one from Texas? Yes. She was the one on the pole. Okay. <laughs> nope. Um, everybody wanted those dollar bills. Yep. I would, I, I almost got one, but I let the guy in front of me have it. Um, it flew in front of me and I just like, go ahead. You can have it. He was really, he was really hyped. And uh, I'm, I was like, Hey, we want to make your experience. Cause he said that it was his first time, um, at, on the floor. So I was like, Hey, enjoy the experience because Last time I was on the floor and I enjoyed experience, um, but this time of course I was closer um, and could actually like see the girls walking by. I'm tall so I can see them like walking by. Um, so that was a good enough experience for me. Um, it was loud, a lot of people screaming. Um, I, I don't know if I screamed, I probably did scream. Um, it was just so surreal no, seeing your favorite artist perform. Um, but going back, everybody had their solos. Um, I'm surprised they didn't have an intermission. Um, they had like a little, little like clip. And I guess that was their intermission break. But I was assuming that they would have more of who's, an intermission. Who's but, a quick intermission? But they came back, performed a few more songs. Um... They were very, I felt like all of them were very um, interactive with the crowd, but I do feel that Nyon was the most interactive with our crowd. She waved um, at me. She did wave at him. Um, I like Nyon. Also Chewy, she was interactive with the crowd. I feel like everybody was, but I felt like overall Nyon was the one who was more interactive with us. Um, but I want to give in an honorable mention to Ryan's favorite My bias. Uh, singer in Jiho. the group, Jiho. I will say, watching the entire concert, Jiho never was not in the moment. She fully performed the whole time. If she was on the stage, that's the leader. She was performing her face, uh, was smiling, she had energy, she was in the song the whole time and there was not another group member that stayed as into the performance the whole time like Jiho did so I will say she was very impressive in that regard they only did maybe like three songs as their encore which was a little bit surprising to me and I'm sure they're tired because uh, on my last year they did a lot of encore songs uh, you didn't experience it but I felt like they did a good six to seven, eight more songs last year. Um, and I'm assuming that's because this, this was a different uh, stadium that I went to uh, the last time I went to the Fort Worth one, um, but this one was Houston. And I'm assuming that maybe they did things a little bit differently. Security was very pushy for us to get out. Um, but- They seemed a bit tired during their sound check too. They did, just a little bit. And I'm assuming these, I mean, they need rest and I'm hoping that they take the rest that they need. Um, but they did look a little bit tired when they came out during soundcheck, but they were all very present during their times during singing. There were some moments where, where, they, where one member was talking and everyone else was kind of listening, where they were kind of a little zoned out, but you know, you can't blame them because they're probably exhausted um, from traveling, the time change, their bodies adapting to U.S. Um, but anyways, uh, overall the encore, they, they finished it and at the very end I was just like, you know what, I only have a few of these pins left and you know, there was a girl behind me that was very into it and I was like, you know what, 
I'm gonna give this to her because I doubt I'm going to be able to give one to any of the members. And then... Hold on. I gave it to her and she was very appreciated of it and she, like, she was a diehard fan too. So I was like, you, you get one, you get one. Um, and then, and then... Chewie was going around and some people were handing her like uh, the little babies to give her and I was like this is my opportunity so I grabbed my pin and I showed it to her and I was like <gasps> and she looked at me she reached across and I'm gonna be putting in a video because the girl that I gave the pen she did me a, a, a favor, she gave me a W and she recorded it for me and sent it to me so I'll be posting that here I you show Chewy and Chewy took it and she was just like and I was like oh my gosh I gave it to him they're going to have it I was, I was excited, so excited to see her face <laughs> because she looked at the pen and you could tell that she visibly was excited about was. it and she was impressed yes I was so excited I did from when I first got there I was like I'm not gonna have the opportunity to give them this pen and I went in with that mindset and I was just like, I'm not going to give it to them. And then towards the beginning, kind of, I don't remember which member it was, but I was wearing, when I was wearing the lanyard with the pin on, I was showing them and they looked at it briefly, but I think they don't want to like have a whole bunch of eye contact because they don't want to reach out. But like at the very end, Chewy like reached out and I'm like, oh my gosh, she's actually going to take my pin. And so I helped the members see it which i assume they are um but oh my gosh that was like such a uh, it just made my night and it was it's definitely something that i'm going to remember uh for as long as i live you know like i've been to other concerts before um besides twice um I've been to, you know, a few American artists like Nicki Minaj, Britney Spears, Carrie Underwood, but this is my all time favorite group and it's just something like they don't have a meet and greet or like a high touch. So this just made it, made it just like so worth everything. I was just so excited um, and I just can't get over it. Um, but I loved the concert. I give it a hundred out of ten. They sang like they sang live for the most majority of the time. Um, there are times where, of course, they need to give their vocals a break. But I loved it. I would see them again if I had the money. <laughs> I would travel to go see them. Um, but you know, I have to work and I need money. So. <laughs> Um, I overall love this concert. Uh, I loved it. That's all I can really say. What about you? It was a great concert. I would give the performance 9 out of 10. Uh, I would give the singing 8 out of 10. There was definitely some pitchy moments. I'm, I've got that critical ear, so... Which is understood. I, Not will say, I will say, though, that the our favorite twice members were on point and every performance is different and I definitely know that from my background they maybe some of them weren't feeling well maybe it wasn't their their top evening love the concert though great first experience would not trade it really really good well I'm glad you enjoyed it and I'm glad I got to take you to experience it it was so much fun and it was I would loud. do it. <laughs> I would travel again to see them but um it was loud um, and I think my throat was a little bit sore after from like screaming and uh, but I loved it it was an amazing experience I hope those who did and were able to go attend enjoyed it as well um, I know once is will love it no matter what um, and then of course depending on the type of day the the performers are in they may have a one-off kind of thing not everybody's going to be perfect when it comes to vocals or dancing like you just said um but i definitely love them um they're my group um and g is my bias yeah um but before we close out this review like i said at the beginning i will be doing a giveaway uh, um and i will be giving away the um the twice candy bong candy bong um cards 
I have an extra one um, that I'm not going to use and he's not going to use it. Um, and I bought two of them, one for me, one for him. Um, so I'll be giving that away. And I'll be giving away one of the pins that I gave Chewie and some of the fellow onces at the concert. So if you want to enter in the giveaway uh, for this upload, all you have to do is comment down below that you would like to enter, um, what your thoughts are if you were uh, or if you were able to go see them in concert or what you expect when you, if you're future planning to see them. Um, but other than that, just comment below, subscribe to my channel, like this video, put that notification on for any future uploads. I do do giveaways with other uploads um, and other live streams. So be sure to tune into those. Um, anything you'd like to add before we end? Fantastic first concert, loved it. All right, well, hope you have a great day. Have a great night, wherever you're at. Also, stay kind to yourself, and Simply Rye, out.